Okay, I have your permission to record, right? Okay. Yes. All right, so I'm going to start it again. B, you were always on my mind. And I'll start it again. Um, maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Maybe I didn't hold you all those lonely, lonely times. And I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine. If I made you feel second best, I'm so sorry I was blind. When you were always on my mind, when you were always on my mind, tell me, tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. Give me, give me one more chance to keep you satisfied, to keep you satisfied. You were always on my mind. So there's two different images that I have. One, which is of course, thinking about my grandparents and have no longer here. And that's one image. And the other one I'll share with you which I'll do later, it's, it's really focusing on speaking to each body part, like your pancreas, your liver. Um, like I know I have a heart because I put my hand on my heart and I could feel it beating. But if I put my hands on my head, I don't really know that I have a brain. I, I don't know the brain is beating or working, but if I do a math problem or if I sing and I read lyrics, I know that I have, it had to go through my brain um, singing actually uses both right and left side, although the singing part is the right side, but there's processing that goes by. Uh, left side would be the, the math. But if I put my hand on my liver, I don't feel any beating. And if I put my, 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 my mind at work to do the math problem, it really isn't using my liver so much. So I don't really know I have a liver unless I went to get a blood test and look at liver enzymes. So, so, uh, the liver is always working, just like the heart's always working. If we could use some bi guided imagery and speak to the, use the lyrics to speak to the liver. And it goes like this. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind, my liver, my pancreas, but you were always on my mind. Now I'm going to ask you, did it come across differently? Uh, yes, it did. The grandparents' performance versus the, right? Yeah, yeah. It was definitely um, more intensified. Mm. With the grandparents. And I, yes. And I think that you mm. you changed the key a little bit. You went yeah. a little higher. A little bit. I think a so. A little bit higher, which yeah. gave it a little bit more, mm, right? It gave it a little Brightness, more. Yeah. 
Yeah, more em em emphasis. Yeah. yeah emphasis. Mm -hmm. uh, which one did you prefer? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't really have an opinion on that because I mm. think both were really good and mm. they both had intensity. Mm. Uh, the higher one was just more, uh, it had a little more emotion to it. Mm. The lower one was, uh, I'd say, a little more melancholy. Mm. That's that's what I would say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put one over the other. Mm. Okay. How was your feeling on it? Um. You know how we, we were talking about spacing on uh, phrasing uh, last time? And um, I felt that it was really important um, in either case, especially the first one, to space, maybe I didn't treat you, right? I, I felt that that was more, as opposed to saying, singing, maybe I didn't treat you, right? Then right. then it's it doesn't have the, right? It doesn't have the, um, it gets boring after a while because it's too much of the repeat. But if I spaced it out and I spoke it, I could have more time to reflect mm -hmm. and, and bring out more of the melancholy, I guess. You know, right. You know. and I, I see it as this when you say, uh, when you do that little pause, hmm. maybe I, you're really speaking about yourself. Hmm. I didn't right. treat you. It's a little yeah. more powerful. It's almost taking, um, you, you're taking, uh, hold of your own issues on this accountability. And I was thinking of when I didn't treat them, my grandfather, grandmother, it was because not that I wanted uh, to treat them poorly, but it was quite as good as I should have, meaning I was busy, I was younger, um, and um, maybe I could have paused longer for breakfast, mm -hmm. but I didn't, and I was out the door. This was in Hong Kong, I was out the door, um, and then, and then off I go on my meetings. Right. But if I only knew that one day the meetings could come and go, but if I could have spent the time with them and almost like pause time, because I can't go back now, they're gone. Both of them have left. Um, and it was, and that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. But you were always on my mind. Yeah, I think even this iteration where I'm, I'm more focused, more deeply focused on it. Because with you today, especially, where we couldn't connect with the Zoom and the sound, I have to tell you, that affected me so much. I couldn't even like, um, not that... And it wasn't like affected me where I couldn't um, have my next call mm -hmm. because I, I was able to have that with my Harvard coach. And, um, but the way it affected me on delivering the piece of music, it was like, I didn't deserve this song. Like I know this song and I, and I, it was like, Whoa, what's going on? Because I, I I've sang this probably, you know, roughly about 15, 20 times. So I know the song. But I couldn't get myself to know to deserve the song the way I wanted. I don't know if you experienced this as a performer. Mm -hmm. It was like terrible. I said, how did that happen? Right. And it was it wasn't like you and I aren't compatible. We're compatible. And then um, and then and then the. Um, yeah. So I just want to share that with you. And it, so it took me a few iterations to bring it out. And sometimes my wife will say that she said, no, no, you didn't. You weren't, you weren't in, you weren't, you, you need to get done with whatever you're doing first, you know, and then you right. can, yeah. Can. Well, I mean, we internalize, we internalize yeah. things. Yeah. Right. That right, right. Yeah. And, yeah. And then we we're thinking that yeah. it's one, our fault or yeah. one, we're not deserving. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. when I'm thinking of this song, right, the, this, this, this last time I just did it was, I was thinking like, I rushed out the door. Right now, I did spend 30 minutes with them for breakfast, 
I even walked over from my hotel, from the Peninsula Hotel to, um, they lived in a place called Moncock, and um, um, and I would walk over that at six in the morning, but they might not be up yet, other things are happening, by the time we sit down, all right, then, 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 or we chat about things, then we sit down for the breakfast, and then I'm looking at the clock, I have my nine o'clock meeting, taxi is down there waiting for me, and I'm off I go, and I always want to arrive a little earlier in time, so the meeting is really let's say a meeting is at 10. I could even picture myself doing this. You need a 10, but you know, like taxis, they take a while. So, so I want to make sure that I'm, I'm on time. So what do I cut it? I cut it short with their breakfast meeting, even though I arrived at six in the morning, right? So generally speaking, I did put a lot of time, um, but I, um, it wasn't enough. It wasn't good enough, quite as good as I should have, mm -hmm. right? And so, that I guess that 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 um, and then and then sometimes I just want to hug them, but maybe I didn't hold you all those lonely lonely times, right? And I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine. You know my 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 grandparents. You're my grandparents, and I and I and I you know you can never. And if I made you feel second best, grandma, grandpa, I'm so sorry I was blind. You were always on my mind, but you were always on my mind. And I could, I could feel it in myself. I mean, I could, I could feel it deeper now. Mm -hmm. But actually, I told you about the Zoom thing, and then and then I let it out, right? And I share about, oh yeah, it's out there now. I've compartmentalized it. Now I can go into the song. Um, right, you yeah. released it. Yeah, yeah, I released it. So, so does that? Um, any well, comments? I have to say is that yeah, when you you were visualizing your your grandparents in this song, mm -hmm. and just all those little words that you're saying in between, mm -hmm. you're really. Uh, making the story you're taught you're telling me something it's coming from a visual that you're seeing it's like you can see your grandparents there and that makes a big mm. difference i think uh, when we sing especially but we also in life when you really mean something and you look people right in the eye and just express your feelings your vulnerability to it too mm. yeah that's great that's really wonderful um mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the rose. Okay, so um, this is a beautiful song. Yeah, I hope I I I, I deserve it, right? So, <laughs> yeah, um, it's a, I look at it as a little bit bittersweet, right? Um, it's not it's not a happy happy song, and I I started doing a little bit of that last time. So I'm. I'm thinking Moon River also because they all that also describes Moon River wider than a mile, right? Describes life, right? So, so some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed some say love it is a hunger and then bless aching need but i say love it is my flower and you it's only see did that come across? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. At least it's a little convincing. Um, it's the heart that fears the breaking, that never learns to dance. It's the dream afraid of waking, that never takes the chance. It's the one who won't be taken, who cannot seem to give. And the soul afraid of dying, 
that never learns to live. When the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long and you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong just remember in the winter far beneath these bitter snows lies the sea that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose. Mm. Um, what do you think? I I think it's uh I love the song. It's a very mm. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's like very magical, um, like casting a spell. And I don't quite know. Sometimes I wonder if singing is like casting a spell that I cast it properly. Right. <laughs> because, right. And I think about that and it, and I also think about that song we worked on memories, right. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, like the water, uh, you know, something, uh, you know, something misty colored, uh, misty colored memories, right? So of the way we were. So it has to be kind of syrupy. Right. Some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. The, is it, yeah. Both those songs. Mm. Have, have this beautiful, I'd say, melancholy, haunting melody. Mm. So, and the words are, are around it because the words add to it. They support mm. that melody. Mm. So if, if you were to just um, experiment in singing the melody as a pure melody and having the words around it, if that makes sense to you. So you're so you're going to sing it like um, like as if you were a flute player or a sax player, where you were singing that, playing that melody, sing mm. the melody, let the melody come first. It's going to change it a little bit as well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But this is not a talk sing song. I wouldn't say so. It has a, it exactly. Mm. Right, the other, right. The one was so. Some say love it is a river that drowns the soul to bleed. You see, I'm singing, right, right, yeah, singing like as if I am an instrument, and the words are surrounding it. Yeah, because just like the way we were. You're like that. Uh, like yeah. the corners of my mind, right? Yeah. Yes. The water color memories of the way we were, right? So if I'm in the rose, some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching need. I say love, it is a flower, and you it's only C. Yeah, so I'm I'm um uh, I'm into it now. So, so <laughs> right? yeah, you, you could tell I was into it. Yeah. 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 But it's just a slight difference. Slight, ever so slight, right? Uh, approach. But versus but if I talk saying it, and it's a, some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Now I've I've mm -hmm. I've botched it up, right? It's now it's now like that's terrible in the sense that you don't want to talk sing some things. And yet other ones, if I were to talk, if I were to sing it in this syrupy way, it would be so boring. Right. right? right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So basically, you kind of have to follow 
what the song is. You've got to mm. find what 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 is the approach one needs to make in a song. Mm. But this, mm. and and that's sort of um, I mean, there's no absolutes. So mm. there could be a person like Willie Nelson who was a talk singer, and he no. could sing the rose. Some say love, it is a river. Like, and he, he there's he does that. He actually does that. I yeah. know. And, yeah. And, and but he knows how to do that. He knows to knows how to sort of tell a story in his way, regardless of whether he's um, taking a beautiful melody and make chopping it up a little bit. But mm -hmm. it's really because I feel like he's really connected to himself and his and his expression of his. Well, he has the um, you know the braids on the side, and he's really <laughs> he's connected for, and he's changed how he sings. Right? He 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 didn't. He didn't, he, he sang differently Yes. when yeah. he was in 1980s versus today, right? Where he does much more, um, I don't know if his, you know, his breath changed as you get older or something, but he, or how he purposely does that, like, um, like talk singing with like Randy Van Warmer, when, just when I needed you most, right? You packed in the morning, I stared out the window and I struggled for something to say. You left in the rain without closing the door. I didn't stand in your way, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did we do this one? No, we didn't. No, wait, I we didn't. Do you know I, this one? Yeah, you know I, it? I, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I'm. Now I miss you more than I missed you before. And now, where I'll find comfort, God knows, cause you left me just when i needed you most mm -hmm. yes you you left me and just when i needed you most right so when you talk sing you can get like i this was like a, a clear talk singing one where if i did it like you packed in the morning i stared out the window and i struggled for something to say right that's just like that's, that's, <laughs> well, well and it um i don't know some some like if we took these two extremes and just like overlaid it it doesn't work mm -hmm. It right. doesn't work. Um, and it, it like it's really clear that it doesn't work. You shouldn't like you just swap the styles and you'll mm -hmm. be much better. And yet you 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 raise the point is that in the rose, um yeah, or or in the um you were always on my mind, if you hear one of these by by um yeah, by by a talk singer, you could you could definitely get their version of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. what I've never seen um, Willie Nelson do is "I Will Survive." <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I've never done him, seen him do this, but um, but I, my Harvard coach helped me a lot with the song because I'm not a um, um, I am not a um, I'm not a survivor. I'm I'm a thriver. So this song really disagreed with a lot of things I do, mm -hmm. but she found a way. Katie found me a way, um, and um, and her way is um, is thinking about some of the challenges that I face, um, and um, and um, like my I I had to do a um, imaging on my on my brain because I had a clicking noise in my ear, mm -hmm. and because they did the imaging, they had to give me contrast, and that contrast caused an allergy. Uh, or a problem, and then now my ferritin's high. So if your ferritin's high, normal is 30 to 300. If it's, um, if mine is like 1,000, 1,500, all right? Mm -hmm. That means I could die from that. It gets stored inside your brain and you can't think anymore. So I've been working on fixing that. So she said to highlight that problem and then to think of what you went through. Mm -hmm. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get along. And so you're back from outer space. 
I just walked in to find you here that with that sad look upon your face, I should have changed my stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I had known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go walk out the door. Just turn around now because you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give and I'll survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. Um, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Right. I thought you did a really good job with that. <laughs> it's different. It's not what something you can go on YouTube and listen because I had like I it was the guided imagery right. and thinking through. Um, and I I swear it didn't work like that before. It was just like very different um, because I couldn't relate to the song. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you can't relate to it, that's a hard one. I always, mm. um, you know, mm. I I never dictate a song from for any of my students because I, it has to come, you, singing a song has to come from inside. Hmm. And this, but this particular song though, hmm. it's rhythmical. First I yeah. was afraid, yeah. I was petrified, kept thinking how I got to live without you by my side. And I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong and I drew strong and I knew how to get along. So here you be, <clears throat> la da da da. See if yeah. you, if you're hearing the beat, because this right. is a rhythmical song. Okay. If you're hearing that beat. It's that's another mm. aspect of hearing that. I will spot. I know how I've had a lot of love. I know I will alive. It's it was written that way. So if you can think of it rhythmically, it mm. will help, it will help make the song um, come across better. Well, Freddie Perrin was fired from his job, and that's when he wrote this song as a comeback. <laughs> Really? And then he couldn't find the right singer, so he put it away. And Gloria says, oh, I like to sing songs that really uh, move my audience, connects with my audience. And so she sang this. And, um, but, but when it was time for her to perform it and sing it, she had an injury. And she was in braces because she fell off stage. And then through that injury, she got really connected to the song. And the fact that it went from, this was a platinum song, right? This wasn't just like a lot of the other ones, they're, they, they're, they're all great, right? Um, they're all gold and number one for so long. But this one, it was just, um, I Will Survive made, um, it, was, it was like, it was just, there's fandom around it. There's um, the movie Rio played it. Um, you know, and, um, and it's a big deal because it was, um, well, let me just pull this up. Um, VH1's 100 greatest dance songs, number one, right? Um, and then um, what else was really uh, key? Canada's adult contemporary was peak position number one. Ireland uh, was number one. Um, UK singles was number one. US Billboard Hot 100 was it was number one. US Dance Club songs number one, right? US Cashbox Top 100 number one. I mean, the fact that people could relate that I'm going to survive, right? You know, and um, and it was, and then putting it into different scenarios. That that's that's what's amazing about this song. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Well, um, it's so, interesting. Yeah. Worldly. Uh, worldwide so it sounds like worldwide this song connected with a lot of people yes, in the worldwide. culture of what the time was at that at that time during that time mm. when people yeah. were just um you know getting up in in a in a lost love affair or somebody that mistreated them they weren't going to t be the victim of it they were going to survive it mm. to get, yes. figure it out no 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 i'm not they're going to get a little more bold maybe Mm. But it's interesting how a song like this, or any, d depending on where the culture is, mm. it, it, a lot of the culture of every, you know, country or so can connect with it. That's the power. Mm. Of, that's the power of music. Very powerful. I mean, yeah. it's just, um, and then of course, using the imagery um, that I'm doing um, to connect with the song, right? You know, um, and I'm still experimenting, but I was 23 years old. When we get to Shania Twain's song, mm -hmm. it was 1997 was released, and 
you know, 23 is just two years after 21 or one year after 22. And all right, that doesn't really do anything. But then 1997 was Hong Kong got handed over to um, from from British uh, rule to um, China rule. And um, and I'm thinking like, there's all these relationships that are out there. And um, and you got to decide, right? You got to think about this and reflecting. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. We might have took the long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said, I bet they'll never make it. But just look at us holding on. We're still together, still going strong. So I think about that as the guided imagery of all those relationships. Um, and, um, and I even did, um, I did one for, um, for, uh, for my, um, my 12 year anniversary, right? Um, I'm a, I'm a sentimental guy like that. And, um, and I'll share my screen here to, to highlight this. This is in uh, so this is our story so far. So I was born in 74 and my wife was born in 1984. So we're 10 years apart. This is Hong Kong. And this is New York where we were born. And we first met in 2002 in Troy, New York, because she went to my undergrad and I, I'd gone there 10 years earlier. I was asked to speak and I met her. Nothing happened, right? You know, and then, and then she would meet me in 2006 of May 28th, which is my birthday. That's my birthday. And she was at my birthday party and I'm already 32 years old now. And, um, and uh, the next day we began our dating journey. And in uh, 2010, we said, I do. Um, happen, a lot of things happened in May, actually. It's very interesting. And then, and then um, you know, my birth month and then my, our first dating journey. And then when we said, I do this, this correlation here, nothing on purpose, but just, you know, marriage, married. And then, and then our first home, um, you know, even though I lived where um, you live now, I, I got my first home, right? My first home together in 2014. And then our baby girl, first one was born in December. So one month later, um, you know, she was born and I was, you, you can imagine, you know, her, her, her tummy's big and, you know, in the, in the uh, uh, ninth month and your, your th or eighth month, and you're thinking about this, you're probably house hunting in the fifth month, you're thinking about this and this, this all times up and that timed up. And then two years later, um, the other one was born, uh, second daughter. And then here we are, 12 years later from when we said I do, right? The silk and the fine linen year. So I had have, I have this put together, um, but it, um, this, this also makes me think about the song, right? You know, looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. We might've took the long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said, I bet they'll never make it, but just look at us holding on. We're still together, still going strong. You're still the one I run to, the one that I belong to. You're still the one I want for life. You're still the one that I love, the only one I dream of. You're still the one I kiss goodnight. Ain't nothing better. We beat the odds together. I'm glad we didn't listen. Look at what we would be missing. They said, I bet. They'll never make it, but just look at us holding on. We're still together, still going strong. So um, as I showed you that image, did you feel that I got more into it? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. 
Totally, totally. And that's the proof, right? And I'm going to give you some like data here, and I'm going to give you data that you already know, but this is done at Harvard. um, And it is, I'm going to talk about hot dogs, hot dogs. And all right, now hot dogs, what does hot dogs make you think of, right? Uh, It could be lunch, probably not dinner, right? Then not dinner, not breakfast usually, unless it's sausage links, right? But hot dogs, right? Mm -hmm. Also makes you think of a baseball game, a football game, right? You know, maybe a little Neil Diamond, Sweet Caroline, right? Football game, right? And then hot dogs and hot dog buns go together, almost in a one-to-one pairing. And that is, uh, if you had a thousand people, a thousand of them would probably do hot dogs with hot dog buns. So nothing unusual there, and that's just very standard. Now, hot dogs with coffee or hot dog with soda is also very common, not because the hot dog goes with the soda or goes with the coffee, but because coffee and soda is so popular that you'll probably have that pairing. Mm. Okay. And But what's unusual is hot dog with ketchup. It doesn't have to be. It can be hot dog with mustard right? Or hot dog with nothing or relish or two stripes of ketchup and only one stripe of mustard, or maybe I like my mustard zigzag and then the the ketchup in the middle or injected inside of the hot dog. You know, there's all kinds of things you could do, which um, talks about the the fine tuning of your hot dog, very personalized, Mm -hmm. right? The hot dog with hot dog bun, unless it's gluten-free or something like that, it's not personalized. It's just very standard. And when you look at that data um, and use guided imagery, look what happened to how I sang, you're still the one, right? Mm -hmm. It became very personalized. You're still the one I run to, the one I belong to. You're still the one I want for life. And it is the, there's the technique and the voice, but if I'm not into it, it just won't, right? It doesn't pop, right? It doesn't, yeah. And you, as a performer, you know that, like you totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As it doesn't connect. Right. You have and to connect it, to it. Yeah, you have to connect to it. And, um, and then to become more deeply connected, mm-hmm. right? Okay, I've tried ketchup with hot dog before. I've tried mustard with hot dog. And then, but then for the ketchup seller, the one who's trying to sell ketchup or sell something, pick, take your pick. Use the coffee to drive the hot dog sales. Use the hot dog bun to drive the hot dog sales or use the ketchup to drive. It's the ketchup one that actually has the most interesting data because you'll, see, you'll get to see something. There's no magic behind people who were going to come and see us anyway, right? At a concert because they love us already. Mm-hmm. Now, Elvis, when, being, when he became fat Elvis, that's what he had achieved because it didn't matter what he looked like. It was just like, they all just loved him. And even Willie Nelson, right? You didn't have to be because he, all those years we fell in love with him, but the way he, how did, why did it happen? Right. He, he, they, they brought out the song in their own way, their own way. And, and people felt, wow, that just makes me feel good. And I went through, like, when I go through these songs, I go listening through them and saying, what does it do to me? The syrupy one versus someone who talks, sings. And it can't just be anybody who talks, sings. It's got to be a certain kind, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, and you, you're, you know, I don't know if it's because you're Irish. Um, <laughs> if only all Irish could sing like that, right? But it must be the combination of what you went through in life, how you've experienced other songs. And then you just, one day you get it. You get it. And that's what you've done to help me too, is one day I, I kind of keep getting it a little bit better mm-hmm. you know, in the phrasing. Any, any comments on how, um, if we were, on we're, well, how we're phrasing? Um, on this song? This one, let's say. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would have just, when you say two. Hmm. Um, Make it go longer? You're still, uh, can, sing the you're, the, you're still the one I run. Just... Um, can you sing that? And then with the run to uh, have a little pause breath before you go to two. You're still the one I run to. Right. Yeah. It, it gives it 
and then with the two, you're still the one I run to really make the ooh, re, the ooh, the vowel of the two is got to be real claret, have clarity because that tends to get a little saggy with every singer. Yeah. Because you're it, still the one I run to. Yes. The one that I belong to. You're still the one I want for life. Okay. Yes, yes. It's a little more powerful. You're still the one I run to. Okay. Da 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 two, right? You okay. you're the two is it's 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 weird for grammatically it doesn't make sense, but in the music it does. And the way Yeah, yeah, grammatically it doesn't. So that's why I um I have the lyrics up here now. So okay. looks like we made it. Do I have to do anything there? Nope, looks okay. like we made it. Mm -mm. Okay, so this can be short here, actually. Yes, absolutely. Okay. In pop music, we make things short at the end. We don't pro we don't hold out um, hmm. notes for the Looks most part. Like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. We might have took the long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said, I bet they'll never make it. But just look at us holding on. So pull that out. Yes, that was okay. really, really good. Right. Now with the on, the, 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 the on, I wouldn't go on. I would just go on. Okay. Holding. But just look at us. Uh, they said, they said, I bet they'll never make it. But just look at us holding on. Okay. Yes. How right. did that feel? Did that did you did you hear the difference on that? Um, not quite yet. <laughs> when I play it back, I will. You know, yeah, you will. Um, you'll hear the difference because a lot of singers will when you, when you correct them, mm. they're like they do it, but then they're 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 mm. not hearing it. But when you hear it back, you'll hear a big difference. Okay. Um, holding on. So don't do on. Right. On. Yeah, I would okay. just on it. You, okay. you're, you're still getting the same emotional impact. Okay. Without mm. on it, it's hard to take a note and go down um, mm. on that vowel, and it it okay. works better, I think, with just a straight vanilla note. Okay, we're still together, still going strong. Yep. Okay, so don't do strong. Yeah, I would do strong. Yeah. Right. Okay, you're st you're still the one I run to. Just one one note. Okay. Um, to you can go you can fall on that if you want okay. still the one okay. i run to get off on the get off quickly on the second mm. note you're still the one i run to 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 that's it yes okay. get okay. off you're, you're still the one i run to the one i belong to you're still the one I want for life. Like that? Yes, okay. yes, yes. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. And the so reason then, why you hmm. want to, you know, with with phrasing, it's hmm. like it's like phrasing is like a an artist when they do a brush stroke. Yeah. They do a brush stroke and they finish. They start and they finish. And it's usually clean. I mean, it would depend hmm. on the artist, but um yeah. And the same thing as a singer. You want to. You don't want to go too, too. Like and painting, and then splash more and more of the green yeah. color. Okay, so now there we got and lots of green. Messy. Yeah. Okay, right. I just have a nice finish. And then so I've noticed that um, that when you get really into the song, like if I actually studied this, this was the "I Will Survive" one, right? Um, you know, at first I was afraid. I was petrified. Um, this I cut it down here, or do I hold that out? No, I would. I would like. I first I was afraid. I was petrified. I would. I would do. I would take a, t a little pause bef after afraid, and then okay. petrified does not need to be held. Okay. You're telling first me. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. 
kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong, and I grew strong, and I learned how to get along, and so you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed my stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I had known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Just turn around now because you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my life to give. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. So I got into it, right? And then so oh, then, then it was like, it was like I didn't have to think anymore. I wasn't thinking of, of the notes, right? Yeah. yeah. Thinking and singing don't really go together too well, right? <laughs> Isn't that amazing that it doesn't, right? And then in you know, like here. However, you yeah. do have to think through things and, you know, in. You in, had to think it through before. Right. So you know what you're saying. And then, and then once you actually say it, like I've seen people play the piano with the song. And they get, um, they don't really, they're not really into it because they're busy thinking of the piano, the notes, right? right. Yeah. And you, you, because you play, I don't play. So I, I, I look at this, this must be hard, right? To, to actually, <laughs> right. To be able to capture that emotion at the same time of thinking the keys. Playing um, and singing is, is, is tricky. It takes a, you know, it I'm takes sure. a lot of practice and skill. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's this, the playing every note versus hitting some chords occasionally. Correct. To, right. And that, that, that helps a lot uh, so that yeah. you're not distracted. Right. Um, it took all the strength I had not to fall apart. Kept trying to, hard to mend the pieces of my broken heart. And I spent oh so many nights just feeling sorry for myself. I used to cry, but now I hold my head up high and you see me. Somebody knew I'm not that chained up little person still in love with you. And so you felt like dropping in, just expect me to be free. Well, now I'm saving all my loving for someone who's loving me. So it's like, it's almost like I didn't have to, I kind of, it just like naturally comes when I'm, when I'm into it. Right. Yes, yes, yes. I think that that first part, it took all the strength that I had not to fall apart. You, you were I thought you were over singing that instead mm. of just going with it. But once you got to, and I spent so many nights, you, you fell right into it. Yeah. Record. Yeah. Then I, then it, but yeah, it's hard to begin sometimes I like I'm, is. because I'm traditionally trained, I guess, uh, training myself to sing like the, the, the way we were kind of thing, but this is not one of those. It took all my, all the strength I had not to fall apart. You have to speak, sing it. Yes. Yeah. And think rhythm. Yeah, you have to think rhythm. Yeah, I had not to fall apart. Mm. Right. You have to think of that rhythm. Yes, yes. And so when we jump right back to this one, right? Oh. We're going backwards now. Yeah. Some say love it is a river that drowns the tender reed. You almost because of the I will survive. You're almost pushing this song to go fast, but this song is yeah. a very slow one. Yeah, right. Some say love. It is a river that drowns the tender reed. Would you do reed or you would you do reed? Reed. I would say reed. I wouldn't go okay. reed. I go because okay. it look at listen, reed versus reed. It okay. kind of it kind of floats there. I I wouldn't put I wouldn't pull it down. Okay. Some say love, it is a river. That drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger and endless aching need. I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's only seed. Yeah. Yeah? yeah okay. Nice. And then as I go into the next phrase, 
I hear people singing it louder or, or more deeply because it's the heart that fears the breaking that never learns to dance. Now, do I want to do dance or learns to dance? I like the dance. I like you going down oh, another okay. note. Okay. It's the dream afraid of waking that never takes the chance. Mm -hmm. yep. It's the one who won't be taken, who cannot seem to give, give. Yep. Okay. And the soul afraid of dying that never learns to live. Yes, 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 yes. When the night has been too lonely and you think that love, no, uh, and, and, and the road has been too long, long, yeah? I wouldn't do long, I'd long, I would just- Okay, all right. When the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long and you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong just remember in the winter far beneath these bitter snows lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose like that yes. hold it out okay yes, All right. yes. the okay. last one needs to be held out okay. and when you had mentioned when it goes it when the heart when, when the heart it, yes it, it's so the heart that fears the breaking it, yeah. it changes the melody goes a little higher and in, in, in it's made to do that because it's almost mm. the second uh, verse. It's coming mm. going into the second. It's mm. the heart. And it is, there is a little bit of a crescendo there. But yeah. it's when, when the melody goes up, it does seem louder. Okay. It, okay. It, you hear it louder. But uh, there, she did give more, or you do give a little bit more emotion, which creates a little bit more. It's the heart that fears the breaking that never learns to dance stands okay. okay yeah yeah all right mm -hmm. and then this one um um maybe i didn't treat you quite as good as i should have um not every lyric has the have um I, I like this one you like to have, right? I, I okay. thought that was really well what you did. Okay. Yep. It, All right. It was true, honest, and it and it's really, mm -hmm. it's saying should have, uh, with just should, but have just kind of puts a button on it, which I like. Mm. Okay. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time, but you were always on my mind, but you were always on my mind. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that was right. really, really nice, Dr. Chu. Maybe I didn't hold you all those lonely, lonely times. And I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine. If I made you feel second best, Grandpa, Grandma, I'm sorry I was blind. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Really, really good. That was a good finish. That, yeah. Any corrections here as far as like phrasing or anything like that? No, no. I no. thought it was really, really nice. It was very heartfelt. Okay. I felt that. 
I felt, I felt your, I felt you there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good that you felt me. Now, how about this one? Tell me, tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. Give me, give me one more chance to keep you satisfied, to keep you satisfied. This I change depending on my mood or something, but right. I, yeah, but this is, you know, um, that's okay here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Doing this all acapella is very, um, very deep and powerful, especially oh. when it hits, you know? Yes. It's, yeah. uh, the only thing that I, um, yeah. you roll back, roll down a little bit. Up. Uh, yeah. Little, I could, little oh, the, after quite as often as I could. Hmm. I want uh, just take a breath. Make sure you take a breath after that. Oh, okay. Because so, I think you're not. Uh, maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Breathe. Yeah. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. Now I didn't breathe between done and I. Should I? No, you didn't, okay. it, it, you no. Should, but okay. little things, it goes up. Yeah, it's little up. things I should have said and done. So you want to kind of take a breath to, you know, to relax the throat a little bit. Okay. Little things, and it gives you a little bit more support on that higher note on things. Okay, so breathe right after could have, could, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, could so have. maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very nice. And the fry, the fry, I guess the fry just is kind of natural. I don't do it on purpose. It just, um, no, 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 no. Yeah. It, it, mm. it works. It works. Okay. It works. Yep. Yeah. You okay. just want to make sure that you have that, that air, the breath support under it. Yeah. That's right. Good. Right. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that if I don't think about the breath support and I'm emotionally attached to the song, mm -hmm. it naturally just happens. But if I, if I overthink, right. Okay add breath support right <laughs> something like that or you know yeah i have to say overall in everything overthinking is probably not so great it really kind of jams you up mm. but um but just to be mindful maybe of uh, quite as often as i could have it's more intuitive but just make sure that you just take you know take that breath and sometimes you need to maybe run uh, a phrase or two together I mean, run it so you practice it so you're intuitive, intuitively do it instead of mentally do it. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. Yes, that was really, really nice. You're going to okay. hear that. But oh, yeah. Just take the time to do the mm. breath. You don't have to think about it, but you'll mm. feel it. Could yeah. have. You want to take a breath after that. You'll, you'll mm. feel that if you're in that moment. So Diane, thank you very much. This was incredible. Um, have I, have I, do you think I've grown from our time together? <laughs> Absolutely. I yeah. hope you feel you have, cause you definitely, I, so. I definitely, definitely feel a difference. In My your... wife says so. My yeah. wife says so. She's, um, you know, and when, maybe one day when I'm up to that, I can do a duet with her or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah. could, I mean, I, I'm glad to hear that because she said, I know that you, you, uh, you, think of her in a high esteem as a singer mm -hmm. so yeah that makes me feel good that she's she hears the uh, the improvement too um there is, it's it's i'm gonna stop to share here okay okay stop the re stop the re uh sharing and stop the recording all right here we go okay <laughs>